Learn how to use the upscale function in focus to go from this blurry image to this crisp image. So right here I created an image just using the image prompt inside of focus. So let's open up input image and inside of here we can just pull this image down into the upscale or variations tab. And this basically works very similarly to Midjourney. So here's an example of how Midjourney uses this. The upper portion is taking the initial image. So this is U1, U2, U3, U4, same for the Vs. And the U is taking the exact image. And if you press on the V, it basically gives you a variation of it. And you can also regenerate it with this button here. One thing to make sure is that when you go into an advanced and you want to upscale something, be sure to remove the random checkbox here and put the seed to zero. Otherwise, it'll always try putting in new variations. However, if you currently want to try to get some variations like the subtle and the strong one, let's put in the random seed. Let's try very subtle and let's see what kind of results we get. All right, we have the results in. And as you can see, it basically changed a bit of the facial structure and some really subtle things in the background. For example, in here, it input a flag which wasn't there on the original picture, as you can see. So let's try again this very strong option and let's give it a different prompt. For example, smaller castle in background. One thing to take note of is if you have something written inside of your prompt that doesn't contain, you know, your main character in here, then it might give you out something very different. So instead of trying to input this smaller castle in the background, we just remove this prompt and again try very strong. As you can see, the output is actually quite different. Now it however took the general basis of the image, for example the mouse ears and the brown hair and this yellow slash blue part and basically created different variations out of it. But as you can also see the background is quite different. So use this at your own discretion if for example you're not exactly happy with your initial image and go from there. Now when it comes to upscaling, one thing to note is that you should rem always remove the random seed and put the seed to zero. Otherwise, it's gonna try to give you different variations while upscaling as well. So instead, I actually wanna stay on my initial picture that I had here and I'm gonna go for upscale 1.5 and click generate. One more thing to also note when looking at the results is that it doesn't make sense to have multiple images generate while upscaling because they are basically the same result just with a higher pixel amount. So let's bring this down to one and either of those works. Obviously to the human eye, it's very difficult to see a difference between a 1.5x upscale and a 2x upscale, but you will see it when you zoom in. And I'll show you that in a moment once we've gone through both of these. Since this was a one image upscale, relatively straightforward, done and you can download it. And we can now also try the 2x fast upscale and see how quickly that was in comparison. And here we go, this was actually substantially faster, I'd say about 10 to 20 seconds. So this was our base image. We zoom in. It is quite, quite high fidelity, but let's see how this compares to the next one. You can already really see a difference in detail in the 1.5x upscale. Now let's go for the 2x. And here you can see the results between our initial image on the right and now our 2x upscaled version here on the left. 